At the beginning of 192 AD, Gong Sunzong was defeated by Yuan Shao at Jiaxiao. After returning to Yuzhou, he reorganized his troops and allied with Yuan Shu in the south to prepare for another southward battle with Yuan Shao. Soon Gong Sunzong ordered Liu Bei to garrison Gao Tang and Shang Jing to garrison Ping Yuan, while at the same time uniting with Tao Qian of Xuzhou and Yuan Shu of Nanyang to march out together, trying to pincer attack Yuan Shao and Cao Cao's clique, from the three directions of the east, south and north, Yuan Shao and Cao Cao discussed their countermeasures, and attacked separately, defeating the allied forces of Yuan Shu, Gong Sunzong, and Tao Qian, while Yuan Shu retreated to Xiao Chun. At the end of the same year, Gong Sunzong once again marched to Longso, but was defeated by Yuan Shao again, which forced Gong Sunzong to retreat to Yuzhou. After several fierce battles in a short period of time, both Yuan Shao and Gong Sunzong were exhausted, suffered heavy casualties, and ran out of food. At the beginning of 193 AD, Yao Qi came from Chang'an by order of Emperor Xian of Han to urge for peace, then Yuan Shao and Gong Sunzong both declared a truce. Because Yuan Shao has always set Gong Sunzong as his top enemy, the focus of Ji Zhao's defense has always been in the north. Now the northern part of Ji Zhou has managed to have a temporary truce, but before Yuan Shao can take a breather, the southern part of Ji Zhou is in a big mess again. At that time, the border area between Ji Zhou and Yan Zhou, together with the area around Bingzhou, was an active area for peasant insurgents. In 193 AD, the unit of the Black Mountain Army, with several tens of thousands of men, led by the leader Yu Du, took advantage of the fact that Yuan Shao's main forces were in the northern part of Jizhou and the internal void, and surprisingly captured Ye Cheng, the capital of Jizhou. At that time, the families of Yuan Shao and his subordinates were in Ye Cheng, and when they heard the news, some of them were sad, and some of them wept bitterly, except Yuan Shao, who was so calm and easygoing, and did not change his usual manners at all, that he made the people feel a little bit, or at ease. Then Yuan Shao led an army to counterattack. The rebel army was defeated and retreated south to Zhao Ger, where Yuan Shao led his army to arrive later, and after five days of fierce fighting, Yu Du, together with more than ten, thousand of his men, was killed, then Yuan Shao led the army along the Deer Intestine Mountain, all the way to the north, one after another eliminated Liu Shu, Qing Niu Jiao, Huang Long, Gou Da Xian, and many other Yellow Turban uprisings, killed more than 10,000 people. Yuan Shao then encountered Zhang Yan the main force of the Black Mountain Army, at Changshan, the two sides started a large-scale battle, which lasted for 10 consecutive days, with both sides suffering heavy deaths and injuries, then each side rested its troops. In 195 AD, Zhang Hong, the governor of Dongjun commandery under Yuan Shao, announced that he had broken with Yuan Shao and severed his affiliation. Yuan Shao personally led a large army and besieged the city for a year. The city was cut off from food and provisions, and Zhang Hong was killed after the city broke down. In the same year, Xian Yufu and others, the old troops of Liu Yu, the former governor of Yuzhou, united with Wu Huan to attack Gong Sunzong. Yuan Shao took advantage of the opportunity to send his general Chu Yi to combine his troops with Xian Yufu's. For a total of 100,000 troops to attack Gong Sunzong, defeating Gong Sunzan's main force at Baoqiu, beheading more than 20,000 of them, while Gong Sunzong retreated to Yijing to hold on. The city of Yijing was very strong and difficult to conquer. Chu Yi's army ran out of food and had to withdraw. Gong Sunzong took advantage of the situation to pursue and defeat Chu Yi. Although Chu Yi was attacked on the way to withdraw his army, it was no longer harmful. After this defeat, Gong Sunzun could be said to have been devastated, he was already lost. Yuan Shao then sent his nephew, Gao Gan, 
to take over Bingzhou, which had been plagued by the South Huns, and plundered by the Black Mountain Army, by appointing him as the governor of Bingzhou, Yuan Shao also recommended his eldest son, Yuan Tan, to be the governor of Qingzhou, and to garrison in Pingyuan. Yuan Tan was fierce and good at fighting, and soon defeated Gong Sunzan's general, Tian Kai, the former governor of Qingzhou, expelling Tian Kai back to Yuzhou. In the spring of 196 AD, Yuan Tan attacked Kong Rong, the governor of Baiyai, to the east. Kong Rong was good at writing poems, but not good at fighting, so Yuan Tan won the battle and Kong Rong fled to Xu Chang with only himself while his wife and children were captured. Afterwards, Yuan Tan continued to march, swept away many of the yellow turbans along the coast, finally occupying the whole of Qingzhou, thus the two provinces of Qingzhou and Bingzhou officially belonged to Yuan Shao. In 198 AD, Yuan Shao, who was determined to completely destroy Gong Sunzan, personally led a large army to attack Yuzhou, was invincible all the way, soon encircled Yijing, some of Gong Sunzan's generals surrendered, some collapsed. While the soldiers were even more unmotivated to fight, Gong Sunzan felt that things were not going well, so he sent his men to break out of the city and ask for help from the Black Mountain Army agreeing with the rescuers to set up a fire as a signal to pincer at Yuan Shao. Unexpectedly, the letter of asking for help was intercepted by Yuan Shao. Yuan Shao made a plan and set fire to the city as scheduled. Gong Sun Zengong thought that help was coming and led his troops out of the city to attack, which was defeated by Yuan Shao, and he had to retreat to the city again. Then Yuan Shao dug a tunnel to the underground and burned down the platform by burning the pillars. Gong Sun Zan, knowing that he was already lost, strangled his wife and children and prepared to set himself on fire when Yuan Shao's soldiers arrived and beheaded Gong Sun Zan who had failed to commit suicide, while all his troops were annexed by Yuan Shao. By now, Yuan Shao finally started from a small bow high commandery, and became the strongest warlord in the country with hundreds of thousands of troops, in the four provinces of Jizhou, Qingzhou, Yuzhou, Bingzhou, at this time is the peak of Yuan Shao, not only the territory is vast, strong soldiers and horses, and sufficient food, no trouble. The generals are all experienced in hundreds of battles, strategists and civil officials are all the then famous, can be said to be majestic in the whole country. So in the same year that Gong Sun Zan was destroyed, 199 AD, Yuan Shao gathered 100,000 elite infantry and 10,000 cavalry, stood on the north bank of the Yellow River, waiting for an opportunity to cross the river and fight with Cao Cao. And a large-scale war between Yuan and Cao began.